I mean, on the one hand, you've got a lot of macro resilience showing up in the economic data, including the jobs report this morning. On the other, commodities are moving higher. Crude has had a big move this week. Um, we've seen the dollar strengthen. And to your point, I mean, you've got the 10-year Treasury yield at 4.4 now, highest since November. Seems like something's got to give here. Uh, how does it speak to how this economic landing is materializing? Well, I think what we're seeing get priced into the stock market uh, and commodities is we're starting to see a no landing scenario uh, pretty much priced in at this point. Uh, and the same is true increasingly on the short end as Fed cuts start to get priced out. The main place where that no landing scenario isn't priced is on the long end of the bond market, which, you know, while it's pressing highs uh, over the course of the last couple of months, we're well off where we were uh, last summer when bond yields hit five. And even then, you know, we didn't have a meaningful slowdown in economic activity. So I really think that long end uh, is is the is the area of the market that is most meaningfully mispriced. And that's coming at a time when we're getting a bunch of inflation data next week, combined with almost $120 billion of bond sales. That flow, that constant issuance, financing those large deficits, that constantly is going to weigh on the bond market, particularly here in the second quarter. Okay. Um, cash, is that, is that, is that, should that be a part of your portfolio right now? And I ask that because Bank of America reports showed that $82 billion in the week through Wednesday went into cash funds. That money market funds are now annualizing $1.2 trillion of inflows. It's the second highest ever. So clearly investors are putting at least some money to work there. Does it make sense in this environment? Well, I think, uh, you know, cash is never a great asset to have unless you can truly market time. It's generally better to be invested in assets on a tactical basis with stocks where they are to where they are at this point and the pricing in of very, very high uh, growth expectations and bonds not looking great. Um, you know, cash can be an interesting alternative, though, you know, when you think about what assets are out there and where. Um, there may be interesting opportunities. Might look to the commodity space where we're starting to get uh, conditions aligning for a bit of a short squeeze uh, for those people holding large short positions in oil. And then, of course, uh, there's my favorite gold, uh -huh. which, uh, you know, keeps pushing higher.